that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. I'm angry. I've had enough of these people. Little bones of Christian murder scum. They're on giant death factories keeping babies alive. And selling their body parts. What more do you need to know about these people? I go out and face these scum. Hi everyone, it's me again. Yeah, so first of all, the name change. I'm now Karina McDaniels. If you didn't know, that's my real name. I'm transgender, if you didn't know. So yeah, I'd rather have this channel attached to my name. Also, the title you no doubt read already. Nerdrotic? Gary? Didn't you cover him already? Yes, yes I did. A long time ago. That was my first video with this format. My magnum opus, so to say. And if I'm being honest, I'm kind of disappointed that this is the video that was that took off a little bit. While I agree with all the points I made in it, I think I was too unfocused and it contained too much padding with unnecessary jokes that didn't really land looking back. It's not that kind of format I want to make anymore. Don't worry, my snarky self isn't going anywhere, but I'm just going to be toning it down for a bit. I think it hurts my points more than anything. Hence the change in my avatar. I would credit the artist, but I don't know who made it. I'm just too strapped for cash to have custom artwork made. I'll do it eventually, no worries. So this video has a bit of a different format today and I'm not sure how it'll be received. I'm really hoping this video won't come off as me ridiculing people who disagree with me. That's not what I'm going for here. I find no joy in that. I enjoy when people challenge me on my points. I don't like to think I'm right about everything. Yes, I'm well aware my tone and persona would lead you to believe otherwise, but honestly, I enjoy getting better at my work. I'm going to be revisiting my Gary video to respond to some of the negative comments towards me. Before I start though, it would be very ignorant of me to only crap on the negative comments while not acknowledging all the positive comments from some awesome people who found my channel. Shout out to my boy Tommy, the man's a savage, a true archdemon to be feared by mortals. Love you Tommy. Shout out to Sid, who's watched all of my videos and has been here since the beginning. Truly an insightful guy. Shout out to Brownwater, the mystery man who stuck around for every video. Really funny guy. Shoutouts to the Tag Team Heavyweight Champions of the World, B-Level Star Wars, and Broden and Bro of the Skies. I will be on a podcast with the, both of them someday. Also my boy Cass in Texas, The Seas, and Mgaz T. Very insightful guys. Love you guys uh, very much. There's a few more, but yeah, I love all of you guys and I'm glad you're still here. We all have fun around here. We all have fun here on this channel. We have lots of fun. Now, you know I already did just talk negative about my own work. I do honestly believe it could have been better. So, did any of these people think so? Uh... Uh-huh. So, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very disappointed with the caliber of arguments on display here. I'm only gonna read two here and I'll show you the rest of them on screen. It's very telling how the top negative comment reads simply, I have no problems with neurotic. Hits the nail on the head most of the time. I'm not shitting you. That's the most upvoted criticism. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? How am I supposed to learn from that? It's so void of substance, which is ironic because that was my biggest critique of Gary in general. He lacks substance and is very dismissive and obviously biased towards critics. All right, so let me show you what, in my opinion, is the most substantial piece of critique. And... Well, let me read it to you in the voice I imagine a person like this would sound like. <clears throat> you do realize that you are attempting, emphasis on the word, attempting, to do Ned Roddick the very thing you complain about him doing. <laughs> very hypocritical, typical liberal. <laughs> Nerd is, of course, 
not perfect, but unlike you, he is a class act. Your fake laughter reminds me of nothing so much as monkeys in a tree screeching and throwing their fecal matter at those who walk by. Ah, I am certain these monkeys think themselves terribly clever as they screech and throw their fecal matter, but they aren't. Neither are you. Nyuck, 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 nyuck. How typical. You do realize what you said wasn't an argument. Pointing out hypocrisy on its own is not an argument. I gave him a very fair chance and heard everything he had to say before I made the point that I think he says some dumb things that don't make sense. Unlike you, I can formulate an argument. Your fake laugh is dumb. Wow. How compelling. Video debunked. 10 out of 10. Liberalism destroyed. Such facts. Much logic. Nice attempt at a takedown. I'm afraid you'll have to do better than that. Oh, I am offended. You are not worth the effort. Oh, I watch Nerd, and I watch you. Nerd is way, way, way better. Oh, I am most offended. You're not worth the effort, says the guy who decided to reply to my comment to him. Good job owning yourself, you stupid fanboy dipshit. I knew it all along. You had no actual arguments. You're just mad because I don't like someone you do. You fanboys are all the same. Piss off to your safe space and whinge about how I made you cry. Bird up. Hello. Hi, <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Margaret. Margaret. Please make me a bath, Margaret. I am most upset by this comment on the internet. Oh. Now, um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Now I'll show you a montage of some of the rest of them. Are you starting to see the patterns yet? You should. These people really have nothing. All they could do is point to minor nitpicks and point out minor hypocrisies. I kind of expected better from the self-proclaimed facts and logic crowd. I mean, at the very least, I showed context for every point I made against Gary, but yet these idiots couldn't be bothered to watch more than five minutes of my video without writing an angry comment. Very disappointing. Are my points so bulletproof that these people are forced to just cry about minor nitpick bullshit? Or just cry about how much they hate me? I mean, come on. I gave Gary a very fair shot. You don't think you should return the favor? Eh, I guess you can't argue with angry fanboys. They don't use logic. All they have is weaponized rage. I'm sure some people are probably thinking, Bro, 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 dude, bro, bro, dude, bro, 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 dude, dude, bro, bro, dude, dude, bro, dude, bro, dude, dude, bro. You're just cherry picking, bro, dude, dude, bro, bro, bro. You're just trying to dismiss all your haters, bro. Bra, bra, so immature, bra, bra. Why are you so immature, bra, bra, bra? Only I'm not. I, I know you're probably then going to accuse me of deleting comments, which I can't prove a negative, but if I really wanted to delete comments, why are these ones still up then? I left them up and responded to people who only insulted me. I never turned off my comment section and I never will. But even still, I got dislike bombed pretty hard. So there's a remote chance that I was in the wrong here. If this is seriously the best my critics can do, I'm very underwhelmed. But hey, let's catch up, Gary. Maybe I didn't give you a proper chance. Please, come home, Gary. I miss you. I was wrong. Gary, you're my best friend. Let's just get along. Let's be friends again, Gary. <laughs> cannot be understated that Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones special did everything it set out to do, and it might have been the most important thing to come out of entertainment, and it might have been the most important thing for pop culture in the last two years, quite frankly, since 2016. Hollywood, the access media, and the entertainment industry in London have all lost their damn minds, and they've lost all objectivity. You know, they used to have some, especially when it came to critiquing a film, but now everything is based on where you lie politically. Oh. Gary? Really? Man, <sighs> I'm trying to give you a second chance here, but yet you're falling into the same pitfalls I roasted you for earlier. So, you heard him. Gary is seriously postulating that these critics have lost all objectivity. Wow, Gary, that's quite a claim that I'm definitely sure you have proof for. I hope. Right? Right?
And quite frankly, the politics of Hollywood, London, and the access media has turned a bit cultish. And it's no more evident than them taking the bait of sticks and stones. And we have a couple of more critic reviews. A couple of them sacked up and decided to criticize Dave Chappelle, but not many. And the ones that did chime in couldn't really give any nuanced criticism. The only thing they can say, well, I'll let them use their own words. You'll see an underlying theme here. Ian Thomas Malone from Ian Thomas Malone. That's not narcissistic. Lacking empathy can certainly be amusing, but sticks and stones is a tired routine. Note that tired routine by a man who forgot to layer jokes into his act. Too often sounding like a pundit on Fox News. See what I mean? I read Alison Herman's review last video, but the key word here is predictable, meant to minimize, meant to say he's irrelevant. Then we have Alcee Rengifo from Entertainment Voice. Sticks and Stones isn't necessarily a failure. It just feels like Chappelle presenting half-formed material with few jokes that truly hit hard and stand out. Ultimately, though, it feels like a stale work from a comedian who was once known for truly boundary-pushing comedy, the kind that actually understood nuance, particularly when famous and powerful men were concerned. I love how they bring up nuance when they are projecting so much within these criticisms. Now, they can't hit David Chappelle with the label that they hit with that other comedian who I have not named yet because of David's skin color. So they have to work around it. Now, they tried to work in the Fox News pundit thing, but they can't exactly call David Chappelle all right. Hmm, uh, so no, I take it. Gary, you're doing everything I didn't like in the first place. All you did was read one paragraph and just assume their intentions with no evidence. Not only that, he provides nothing to contest these critics and their opinions. It just comes off to me like he's mad that these people didn't laugh at the thing he thought was funny. Before anyone makes assumptions about me, I love Dave Chappelle. The man is a legend, and I found Sticks and Stones to be very funny overall. Admittedly, some of the jokes are kind of cringe. The ones concerning trans people were probably the least funny. But other than that, I liked it a lot. Look, sometimes comedy legends, even the best comedians in the world, have some duds. I never laughed at everything George Carlin ever said either. That's no sin to point out, right? It shouldn't be. Right. Above all else, we expect comedians to be funny and fearless. Even when Chappelle seems to go off the rails in his monologue, he more often than not is raising serious concerns, such as how the rules of etiquette for relations across racial, sexual, and political lines keep changing. I have always been a comedy fan since I was a little kid. I grew up on Monty Python. We just heard the great John Cleese talking about PC culture and the problems he's having with it over in the UK. And of course, it's infected. One of my favorite TV shows, Doctor Who. But as far as comedy is concerned, I grew up on Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, Rodney Dangerfield, George Carlin, and Bill Hicks later on. And then, of course, Dave Chappelle. They are our modern philosophers, and they are important for pop culture and society as a whole. And it's a harbinger, not unlike, you know, the frogs dying out to show that an ecosystem is about to go downhill. We are pop culture ecosystem is about to go downhill if we lose comedy. And again, Dave Chappelle might have saved. You know, Gary, Gary, you know what? You are absolutely right. These comedians are modern day philosophers. But that's not an argument. You're saying that as if these people are in trouble, like the mean and nasty SJW cabal is coming to destroy them and ruin the fun for everybody. Only... are they? Let's actually look at some of these reviews. You know, uh, that thing that you didn't do. I'm putting them on screen so you can read them for yourself. So, from what you see here, do these people seem like they've quote-unquote lost all objectivity. It seems to me like they have a few legit grievances with the special. They explain some of the jokes and provide some background and present their opinion on why they didn't work for them. Now, are all of them good? Maybe a few of them are a bit petty, but this is far from ignorant hatred of something that just doesn't agree with their politics that Gary is making it out to be. If these people really are part of some cabal of evil Marxists who can't take jokes and want to ruin the wonderful Western civilization, why are all of them very split on liking the special then? This seems very counterintuitive to their goals. And sure, they might all be left-wing guys, but are you really one to complain about political bias, Gary? Just by taking one look at your list of videos, you probably shouldn't be the one casting stones in that direction. SGW this, SGW's ruined that, SGW's ruined my breakfast cereal. I mean, Gary, 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 Gary. I have to ask, why are you so determined to shit on these critics? What did they ever do to you? The only reason I can see for you being so hostile towards them is because they have certain views you don't like. You pretend as if these people are able to destroy whoever they want, but... Uh, apparently they can't possibly do that, even by your own admission here. Gary, did you forget about the saying? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but... Yeah, I, I guess words do hurt you, don't they? Huh. Uh, I, I don't think I'll ever understand you, Gary. But hey, I gave you a chance. You can't take that away. I'm Karina McDaniels, and I'll see you next time. Hugs and kisses, bye!